Yesterday on the 2nd of September, I had a clairvoyant reading. Um, and I just wanted to mention something about this, but two seconds, because I'm going to need to write down a bike only time to an erection. Which I didn't see initially when I pushed record. Right, so. Um, basically, I'll give you the setups, what they want to suggest for the clairvoyant reading. I'll give you the clairvoyant reading in one month's time. But I want to give you the um, reading that uh, this organised force against me wants to tell me, uh, make clear to me what they want to tell me through their reading of a psychic reading. So firstly they want to tell me to fuck people that rape me as a child time and uh, look alike to people who sexually abuse me as a child time to my willy going up time to an itchy bell end and time to an itchy bum hole. Just slamming bike up on bike in my direction straight after that. Time and coughing and sneezing in my face straight after that. So that happened about 20-30 times in a matter of just 40 minutes. Then there was drain covers being hit over being choked by catalytic converter setups. Type in the people with frets. That's a catalytic converter. It smells like white vinegar mixed with uh, the smell of rubbing two stainless steel knives against garden crest, but a hundred times stronger on engine cars. Before 1997, catalytic converters were not on any of the cars or any other vehicles or other engine run uh, devices. So anyway. The next setup straight after that clairvoyant reading I had yesterday is to say that I'm going to be fucking beaten to death, smashed in, beaten, face beaten to death, uh, kicked around, for head kicked around like a fucking rugby ball, to be injected with a HIV needle, to be shot dead, to be burgled, and making such a fucking catalyst. This is the problem. I can't do this. I've been, I've been tortured by these fucking setups all fucking day. Once again. Right. So let's get it straight, shall we? Let's just get the fucking reading sorted out. So that I'm going to give you, like I said, their side of the reading. So basically, as I just mentioned, you had all that spit talking in my face. Couldn't get in any of the shops because they packed all the shops. Obviously, they've been choking me out with a catalytic converter. I've been farted at, and I have, I've had to smell the farts. Um. They diverted me, they stopped me taking pictures of anything uh, in the time period where it's cloudy because yesterday, even though it's predicted a rainy, cloudy day, there was actually only 20 to 25 minutes of rainy, cloudy weather for the whole of yesterday. There was a bit of hazy sunshine as well, but that's it, 20 to 25 minutes of cloudy, rainy weather, and luckily it was at times where I could take these pictures, but they were using this force control to stop me getting these pictures, and they're getting nasty about it. They want it on a sunny day. For some reason, they want my photography on a sunny day, and they're getting maliciously nasty about it, these people that are organising this force against me, when it's not their fucking pictures. It's not up to them what whether I take my pictures in. But they are making it fucking clear. We're gonna fucking knock you off. We're gonna rip you to fucking police pieces. We're gonna slice your fucking wrist with a creator god. We're gonna fucking smash you out. And just going on, getting fucking violent and nasty with organised force and that corrupt fucking organised pattern. So like I said, that's the clairvoyant reading these setups want to give me. I'll give you the proper reading in one month's time from now. I'm just giving you the setups that are applying this and that. So obviously they're telling me to fuck people that rape me as a child, and it's simple as that. And they're timing these totals of people to erections, but they're also slamming bikes time to an erections as well. Also while they're timing loads of bikes, so there's roughly about 70 bikes time to an erection. They were timing the baby being bounced about in a sling. Not yesterday, but they have started doing this uh, quite a lot frequently. And that's the time, a make love and not war t-shirt, followed by a t-shirt that says age is just a number it loves, is love that counts, and also t time in a, a t-shirt that says over 50 is too old, but under 50 is fine. Those three t-shirts are from, from the same manufacturer. But um, like I said, these evil bastards that are setting this force up against me, I'm just giving you the reading that they've predicted for me, rather than the clairvoyant reading. I'll give you the clairvoyant reading in one month from now, and I will mention that it's not a positive reading, but it's not a negative reading, and life could change if 
specific things that aren't put through or if organized force or people don't put these things through and it's all touch and go regarding on how situations are managed whether I would uh, receive the goal or not receive the goal which means that I could be in a situation where I'm still struggling with more problems in the future if this situation continues but like I said I'll give you this reading in one month's time so obviously they want to make the suggestion that they want me smashed to fucking pieces they're making the suggestion that they've sliced my wrist and cut my throat with a creator god and landed me in peril which means they put me in jeopardy so that I could go to hell after death there's a load of animal voice sounds and crow sounds and dog barks to say you're being knife dead you're going to the fire of hell or, or accusing me of raping children or women or whatever mostly under the name of Sadie, Ian and Stephanie um, every time someone was making a threat and mistaking me as Sven or Liam I was getting a load of trouble then uh, with animals going ha 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 crows going ha 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 or bird tweeting being knife dead just you, you rape Sadie just you're a child rapist just you molested those those animal voice sounds or whatever are on the increase at this minute in time and so is allowed bikes time to an erection but anyway let's carry on shall we with the reading so they're reading not the clairvoyant reading what I'm being predicted so basically they're making the suggestion that I'm being having my head kicked around like a fucking rugby ball and um, having all my fucking teeth smashed up and to claim that I fucking raped Sadie and other girls names when that's not true they're also making the suggestion that I've also uh, stole Sam's bike which is one of the neighbors bikes with setups it's usually with threats or people questioning thinking that I done it when I haven't so they've been starting that rowing with that with setups around Glastonbury yesterday afternoon the next thing that they're doing is pushing me about when I'm trying to eat straight after the clairvoyant reading and they stopped me posting a letter which was posted to 10 Downing Street which is the UK government to have a good fucking moan about all these setups and problems I mean it might not be them that are setting it up it could be someone in a higher place or someone higher up than them but whoever's setting it up they're causing a lot of fucking shit with these setups and I will say something else just before I go any further this is the quietest I've known this road I'm walking down there's been over 400 cars set up while I've been trying to take a picture of a signpost which is only a newish signpost but it's got like a scenery area to it and I wanted to try and get the whole picture in that makes a nice looking suggestion so there's been car up on car until now even when I was on the phone to my mum and on the phone to staff but they're just just going through a stage initially they, they were choking me with a catalytic converter when I push record but we're going through a sneaky stage of making it quiet which is good because obviously I need it quiet because I'm doing this documentary right so these setups or this control force around me want to make it clear that I've raped children when I've never had sex with anyone and I want to make it clear that you're not having sex and to tell me to fuck people that sexually abuse me as a child while boasting about it with stuff like a, with stuff like you know with, like, with things like a baby being bounced in the sling afterwards and not yesterday I don't think but you it usually follows with a cheering van and yeah van uh, I'm not sure if that occurred yesterday so you had a couple of very cool names you had uh, smash you to pieces rubble smashing flatbed lorry uh, ripping you to pieces paper shredder van which is almost faded over now but I recognize the van and you also have message to you van which is a message the number two and you van uh, followed by um, just in time van which is a my name stint, which has a picture of a double bell wind up alarm clock with a mallet smashing it by a cartoon character but it also says just in time in the clock face of the broken smashed double bell alarm clock which is a green color clock on a white van right so we've also had the knife down t-shirt we have several vehicles like the RT Keedwell and uh, suggestions to tell me I'm a sick bastard or making a suggestion of pervert paedophile rapist um, going on like that with uh, vehicle wording or t-shirt names in my direction there are time in uh, drain covers to be hit over by every tire every time I walk past a drain cover in a sly way basically to tell me that my life's down the drain um, this is all straight after the clairvoyant reading um, they also timed overhanging trailers to try and rip my legs off from behind tried to turn cars into areas where I was crossing 
to cut me up and they're moving at speed not looking properly and then I'm nearly getting hit and whatever so they definitely want to get rid of me they've tied the rent kill van the road kill van the gunpoint van knife down t-shirt Oh, there's and time and definitely loads of like 1940s, you know, vintage sort of vehicles that are knife shaped or gun shaped, and a couple of American sort of looking vehicles. Oh, I done done all that yesterday. Not, not actually in the in the 40 or 20 minutes after I left the clairvoyant seat, but you know, throughout the day I'm on about. So they've been making the suggestion that when I'm killed, when I'm shot dead or murdered, that they're gonna rip me to fucking pieces in my next life and to tell me that when I'm a baby in my next life that they're raping the guts in and out of me and sex sucking the guts in and out of me and gonna get their feelings out over me fucking me like water jelly on the floor forcing me to enjoy sex with a man that's fucking the guts in and out of me as a child so they want to make the suggestion of that while cheering at the same time but also making the suggestion that in my next life they're gonna throw me in the fireplace and play about with me with poker sticks while making the suggestion that they're cheering about that and also there's been some blood suggestions and there's been some smash glass with blood splattering sort of vehicles in the midst of all that and violence being suggested as well so these people that are doing this want to get really really fucking nasty about it so that's the clairvoyant reading they've been setting up but also there was more threats come later on in the afternoon where people were mistaking me as Savannah and photographing me and saying you're losing your life you're being fucking shot dead you're a rapist and all the rest of it like I said before 99.9% .9 of all problems is on sexuality and also they were making the suggestion that you're being burgled or having a break-in but on top of making the suggestion that they're saying that you're being burgled or having a break-in with this force control setup force around me they're making the suggestion it's not going to happen at once it's going to keep on happening and that we're going to rip you to fucking pieces until you end up fucking suicidal or end up insane or end up a fucking screwball they're just making the suggestion we're going to rip you to fucking pieces until you fucking come to come to come apart basically getting really violent really nasty about it and want to make the suggestion that they're hitting out 50 fucking fists of fucking fire you know at a million speed you know they're just getting nastier and nastier as I said uh, ever since we came out of the lockdown all this action is four times heavier than it was before but there were times where it was heavy I'm not disputing that and that was mostly when I got arrested and when I had to go to Bridgewater Magistrates Court they stepped up this action and there were certain days out when I went with my father and family members where they set up this action and also I went to London for the first time in my whole life in 2015 and all this control force was set up around me around there as well so I don't know who's actually setting it up but if we go back to that sort of time period they were also trying to hit politicians off in the street uh, while organizing this force around me to be crooked so they obviously don't like their own people if it is the government that's setting it up and they don't like the police force either as they timed vehicles to smash into the police or the police cars at Barrow and also a Conservatives car which is a, a political a political organization they tr tried to smash a police car up and also a, like I said a Conservatives car back in that time period so whoever's setting it up is, doesn't even like those sorts of organizations so it's got to be someone higher up than that maybe or it could be done just to look like they don't like that organization or there's a specific driver that they don't want that they don't like or they want to get rid of but either way that's happened and I'm not making it up the next thing I want to mention is uh, basically that was bad going back at that time but when we came to late 2019 20 yeah 2019 all these all this action and fresh dropped and since we come out of the lockdown this organized force has just got heavier nastier more malicious more tighter and whatever else so this is the clairvoyant reading of what these people are suggesting that are organizing this force against me are suggesting but in one month's time I'll give you the reading that a proper clairvoyant has given me but let's just see in the next month whether the readings gonna go in the way these setups are suggesting it's going to go or whether it's going to go in favor of me with a bit of a more positive reading of a clairvoyant reading but firstly listen think of what I told you and if you need to 
listen to this video again to recap on a few things then go through it because that's what's being suggested that's what's these setups or this organized force or the creator god or whoever's causing this movement control around me are suggesting and they're telling me that the clairvoyant reading is wrong before they set up all this force so basically i can't remember what the wording was but it occurred as i walked out the um clairvoyant seat and walked out that shop where the psychic clairvoyant um place was and as that occurred they basically i can't remember the exact wording on the um what i saw but it basically applied that the clairvoyant is wrong and then they wanted to make the suggestion where tell you what your reading is and then um, it's basically what i just told you in the story so if you've got any comments leave it below and then i'll message you a link in one month's time from yesterday's date to let you know what the clairvoyant said on that reading i had yesterday thanks for listening there's this little bonus piece i want to put on the end and that is i've tried redoing the um, recording that i've just done and i've not been able to do it so something in the church that i'm in because i've gone into a church is buckling my mind is cursing my mind is is handicapping my mind my capability to be able to think and say what i need to say regarding yesterday's clairvoyant reading and one other thing i want to mention is i forgot about this setup this occurred while i was coming home on the bus they were making the suggestion that you're burning from heat radiation or some form of radiation and also making a suggestion like someone's going to blind you with a laser with the setups on top of this corrupt force that's telling me that they want to give me the psychic reading as an alternative to what the clairvoyant has said but like i said i will give you the clairvoyant reading but let's just see what happens for the next month while i mention the um reading that these evil bastards that are setting this force up against me uh, are predicting or the creator god if it's not being set up but whoever's setting it up is a real malicious bastard and there's no need for it so if it's the creator god that looks really really sad if he's about making that suggestion but um the likelihood is, is it's being done by some organized force using noetic science technology so they know in advance with computer programming and want to organize this force around me to cause as much havoc and as much trouble and as much inconvenience and fucking you know whatever just to cause absolute fucking mayhem everywhere i go they stop it they're stopping me take pictures they're stopping me meet up with people they're stopping me going to the town because i can't go into the town because i'm being sneezed at and coughed at every time i go in there i got threat up on threat anything from shooting me dead to bashing me out to fucking telling me that once i'm in, uh, smashed out on the floor in a fight that a knife's coming out to fucking finish the fucking fight off or i've been told that i'm having my wrists fucking cut and my fucking throat in a nasty vicious fight claiming that i'm a rapist and mistaking me as seven but the problem is where people are shit stirring with this seven business i'm getting the threats now under my name justin which is my proper name with all this seven fucking shit thrown at me of what he's committed coming back at me with my real name so it's all it's all a load of fucking trouble at the moment and it's getting worse and worse so you know like i said i'll give you the reading in one month's time i don't want to i don't want to spoil the reading saying what what it says at the moment i give you a few fractions of what it applied earlier on when i did the start of the recording but i can tell you now um i was getting a bit confused on what i was saying so um there's a you know a bit of um speech um or confusion within what i mentioned but you know it's quite difficult to to mention when you've got traffic and got to be alert of not being hit on the road or whatever because i was walking down the road and that road the only quiet time has been in the whole day is literally when i was doing this recording which is good because it helped but um they probably thought i was going to go in the other direction because i was actually going to go in a different direction before i went on that road to do this recording so i don't know but whatever's whatever the case i was just very very lucky to have that bit of spate of a few minutes of where there was no traffic because i can tell you now when i was trying to take a picture of a signpost on that road earlier on you're looking at four to five hundred vehicles in total for that stretch of road that i've from when i entered that village name to when i went to the top to wait at the bus stop to go back down and do the recording i'm doing now basically until i went into the church 500 vehicles on average that's busier than the road ahead 
because when I was looking at the road ahead, he was thinking, it's just saying, maybe a diversion, I, do, I ain't got a fucking clue. It just, it just seemed like it was busier on this back country road than it was on the main road. But I haven't got a clue why this has occurred. So, anyway, like I said, in one month's time, I'll give you a reading. And as I said, it's not negative. It's, it's one of those that could go either way. But I just want to mention what this control force wants to apply to me, all this setup, all this um, evil force that's uh, controlling my life and controlling my movement when I go out, like wearing on t-shirts, controlling the vehicles, moving me into directions of enemies to try and hit me off or, you know, causing people to cough and sneeze in my face, causing overhanging trailers to rip my legs off, causing wording on vehicles to make a suggestion of malicious actions being taken on me, anything from manslaughter to murder to sexually crucifying me, to taking the piss out of me being sexually abused as a child, or telling me that they're going to stop me getting sex or they're going to fuck it up or whatever. Well, they've already done that. They've closed um, shops. They've uh, put on governmental events. For example, like the Queen's Jubilee, for example, as just an example, but there's been other events as well, where they've needed to take the bus service off. They've closed down dating sites I've used. They've literally messed my life up. And they're just taking the piss out of me, saying that they want me to go into labour and to be pregnant over someone who sexually abused me as a child. And that you've got a baby, it's coming out of you, basically. That's all they're doing. That's all they're fucking doing. So, you know, it could be, it could be done by the Creator God that's causing this. It could be done by the go uh, governmental organisation. It could be the Mafia. It could be an elite organisation. It could be the military, the CIA, the FBI. I don't have a clue who's causing it. But, um... You know, they've got no ethics, science, technology, where they know in advance. And this sort of technology is where they go around grabbing kids off the street or from playing fields, take them back to their buildings, and then they shag them and rape them, and then they drink their blood, and then they throw them in the fireplace, and they start laughing and do satanic rituals while burning them and playing about with them with poker sticks in the fireplace. Like they're suggesting yesterday with me. That's what they're suggesting they're doing to me in my next life with all the setups that are occurring. Um, or being applied straight after the clairvoyant reading I had yesterday. But I want to mention something else because I had a clairvoyant reading also a couple of days before that. But it is very neutral. It was not, not very progressive. It's not a clairvoyant worth mentioning and reading about. And this is why I went for a second reading from someone that has a bit of a that someone who is psychic rather than a faker basically. Because the person I saw yesterday at the day before, oh, whenever it was. Saturday, sorry. She wasn't very good with the readings. And she was only a young lady, so she was only in her early 20s. And she literally, she, she just seemed like, you, you just wasted your money, basically. So this is why I wanted to get a proper reading, which I had yesterday, which was on the 2nd of September, 2024. So, but like I said, this, this reading, she was spot on with 90% of what she said. But, like I said, I'm not going to give you any information whether they're going to try and mess up a girlfriend or mess up this or mess up that. I'm going to let you wait and I'll give you the reading and, I, and the information in one month from yesterday's date. And then, obviously, if this setup force around me does mess it up, then obviously I've got a backstory and a pre recorded documentary about the clairvoyant reading that I've already done for yesterday. So, like I said, let's just see what happens in the next month, shall we? And then we'll take it from there, and then I shall release that recording. Because it's not going to look very good when I do it that way. When you look at the um, setups that are being controlled with force control, making the reading, they want to tell me what their re the reading is themselves, and they want to use violence and murder and extreme malicious actions against me with this suggestion while accusing me of sexually abusing Sadie, Stephanie, claiming that I've been with Amy Weston and claiming that I've uh, raped Ian as well. So I'm getting a bit pissed off of it. So that's why I'm uh, holding the reading, giving you re the reading later on and not at this minute in time. Because I want people to see this first and hear what I have to say today before they get the reading. Because, um, because that's the way I want to do it. 
mostly because of certain information that's been predicted and things that have been predicted and that's why I'm doing it this way uh, like I said if things fall through or things turn nasty then you know that it's these malicious bastards or an evil creator god that's uh, screwed it completely up with this organized force that's being put in my direction if that's what's being revealed in the, the reading when I issued a reading on the internet in one month's time from yesterday's date so like I said I'll leave it there and I will mention that these setups are just as nasty and they've been stepped up since the 6th of July 2024 and all the threats have got nastier since that specific date and we're going through a phase especially in the last eight days where things have been really aggressive uh, from the Sunday morning of when Dunelm went up in flames in Yeovil it was the morning of that day when all this force control and malicious setups were stepped up extremely heavy not just heavy but really really heavy but anyway I'll leave it there because uh, I can't keep on just mentioning and mentioning different things because otherwise this documentary would just go on forever but um, I give you the basics so you know leave comments you know and uh, I'll uh, put the link up for the clairvoyant reading I've had yesterday in one month's time and uh, then you can start um, a conspiracy over that with the uh, recording that I'm up in on YouTube now which is this one so you can have a sort of think to yourselves what this says and then obviously when I put the reading on I mean you can go back and listen to this a couple of times you know just go through it in your own time and then obviously when I put that reading on that the clairvoyant told me yesterday it may raise a conspiracy but on a positive note if things did improve then obviously there'd be no conspiracy but in the past I'll just say this in the past a clairvoyant has told me that something's not going to fall through and it can't fall through unless somebody or something or some organized force puts it through so remember that being mentioned as well but I'm not giving you that reading until one month because I just want to see how things go but I'm doing this recording and I'm telling you about the reading because I've already done the recording and I want you to view it in one month to see what happens basically and whether my life takes a negative twist anyway it is the last bit I am mentioning now I won't be adding any more to this video so if you've got any comments leave it in the message box below and I'll let you know in one month's time what the reading is thanks for listening have a great day